Hey loves, welcome to my channel. So guys, in today's video is going to be the part two or the continuation of our bridesmaids dress, okay? So I'm going to begin by creating my dot for the back and then the front piece, okay? So I'm just going to fold in where I notched and i'm going to begin my dot like that okay i'm doing the same thing to the other side and also i'm going to join my front panels matching my notches and i'm going to join from the bottom to the upper area so with the second piece i am going to join it from the bottom okay to the up and then with my facing okay I'm going to join it the same way I join my uh, main piece, okay? So I'm just going to connect. And then for the back, I'm going to leave it like so because I won't need to dart. I just need to trace out the neckline once I'm done with the darting. So guys, I'm done uh, joining the pieces together. And then I've pressed this down with my iron, okay? Also, I'm done with the strap and I've pressed it down. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking down my zipper bulge. Okay, so I'm going to the waist side and I'm going to be sticking five in zero point five inches, and I'm going to connect this to the side like that. Okay, so once I'm done, I'll pin this down. All right. And then cut it out now it's left with taking the zipper bulge from the center back okay so i'm going to the center back like so and i'm also taking half an inch from there and then now i'm done with taking out my zipper bulge okay so this will help reduce the puffiness around the back now so right sides facing each other i am going to just uh so my necklines but before that i'm going to be inserting my strap to the left side okay remember it runs of course from the front okay the right side of the front all the way to the back okay to the left side of the back so i'm just placing this on my darts like so and i'm going to pin All right, so once I'm done, I'll just place this back on it, like, and I'm going to sew, okay? I'm going to sew the right side too, and then um, after pinning, all right, I'm just going to make sure that this strap, okay, goes right to the right side of this dress. So I'm just going to lift my left side, okay, the back the left back and i'm going to lift it up and place this on my dart line okay so i'm going to pin it like so and i'm going to put my facing right sides facing each other and i'm going to be sewing this okay and after that i'll make a top stitch on all of of them okay so guys one thing i want you to know is that you want to insert your strap diagonally, not straight, okay? Later, I ended up um, amending that part. So, you insert it diagonally, okay? Not straight. So, um, the next thing after um, sewing it, I'm going to be holding my, my uh, darts together. Yours. I don't want the facing moving around, so I use um, a hemming gum, okay, to hold them in place, okay, including the back. So I'm just going to arrange it like that, and then I'll set it aside so that we move to the bottom part of the dress. So now this is my back, just like I did for the front. I'm going to be creating a space where my back, okay, the back, the bottom the bottles okay can sit in all right so i am just i've just joined my back panel together now i'm going to take away my zipper board for the back as well guys 
I do this in all my dresses and it comes out really nice. Okay, so remember when you are taking away from your zip allowance, that is the half an inch, you need to add it back to the side. Okay, so that you don't get short of fabric. So I already added it back to the side when I was drafting this pattern. So I'm going to just uh, trim the excesses off. Okay, so I've taken in for my waistline and also for my zip allowance. This is going to create that curvaceous uh, space that my butt can sit in. So I'm now going to be creating my split. Guys, I'm not dating my down or my skirt part okay so i'm just going to mark my allowance and then from there i'm going to mark four inches where i'm going to be creating my split so this split is not so easy if you are a beginner okay it's easy to create this split to to split it up but it's not really easy to sew it okay you need experience or you need um time or you need to be careful when you're sewing this together or else your dress might a uh, one side of your dress might be longer than the other so i'm just cutting a strip of fabric that i'm going to be placing on the parts that i will be um splitting okay so i think it's a one inch or 1.25 inches thick unfold okay so i'm just going to open this up and i'm going to place it right where i want to split and i'm going to pin this down like you're seeing okay now i'm going to be creating a new a new line okay for my split all right So as time goes on, I'll be uploading a video on how to create a front split with your dart. Okay, so I'm marking where I want my split to stop. Okay, from my waist to where I want the split to stop. Stopping above my knee line, like three inches above my knee. Okay, so I'm just cutting this open. All right, so I, I've, I've stitched this. Okay, so I'm notching. So you stitch, you stitch around that line before you cut it open. Okay, yes. So that is what I did. I stitched around the line that I've created. I think 0 0.01, just really close to the line on both sides. Okay, and then I've split this open. So after that, I'm going to remove my pins. So now that I'm done, I'll create a top stitch. Okay, which I have already done. My top stitch is created and I've pinned this down because later I am going to use my hemming gum to secure it in place. Okay, so the next thing is to bring out your top pattern, your top panels. Okay, so I'm going to bring out my top like that and I'm going to join it at the waist. Okay. And also my back respectively. So right sides facing each other. Okay, for the front and then the back band. I'm just going to join this. Right sides facing each other for the left side and also the right side as well. Mind you, I've already joined my uh, zipper line. Okay, so after that, I'm going to be taking down the sides. Okay. So, and I'll be, I'll be leaving some space, which I have already done. So, I've joined my sides, my panels, that is the top and then the down together for the front and then the back. And I've also joined one side together, okay? One side around the side seam, okay? Yeah. So, around the side seam. I just left an opening okay so this is for the back and so at one side for my left side okay you decide where you want your trail to be located or to be placed okay but I want it at the left side so I've, I've 
left a six inches space there okay almost closer to my dart okay and i've already held my um allowances with pins okay so i just removed my pins so that you can see this clearly all right so i've i've sewed one side and i left um a space for my side drill so this is what i am doing i'm just pinning the allowance together so that it will lay very flat okay so once i'm done i'll just open this up and then i'm going to be working on my drill so guys i have finished my trail all right i lost footages of this but what i want to show is i hemmed on both sides okay and then for the bottom part i added a crinoline to this you might want to add a crinoline that matches with the color but i did not really get the crinoline the royal blue crinoline so i just used a black one instead of white which is better so after that i'm just going to fix this other side like i said in the cutting of this video i did um some adjustments with my trail okay i didn't want to kind of gather it anymore so i just cut it according to the space i left okay so for the size just cut if you leave if you left seven inches of your space make sure that your trail has uh, seven inches of width okay so after that i'm just going to uh, put this insert this in sandwich it into my top and i'm going to join it together so just like i have done i have joined my trail together like that at the sides okay so right now i'm just trying to fix my zipper and i'm using uh, a, a brown paper okay to make sure that my fabric doesn't stretch because when you are sewing a zip and your your fabric stretches you're going to be getting a lot of zipper bulges around which you do not want okay so you always want to uh, kind of um always want to kind of avoid that i'm going to be sharing a, a detailed tutorial on how to sew on a stretch fabric to remove your zipper bulge okay so now guys i'm done joining my zipper and i'm going to be joining the other side panel okay so i'm not going to be joining my right side together all right so i'm going to join this together by the seam allowance i left which is two inches Okay, so I'm going to join from the top all the way to the down part of this dress. Okay, so we are almost done. So guys, um, thank you for sticking with me till now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell notification so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Share this video, share to your Facebook, your Facebook group your facebook pages your whatsapp pages all your social media handles and i'm so grateful now i've taken down the site and the next thing is to deal with my bottom part okay okay so i'm going to be attaching my crino line and also i'm going to be um using my hemming gum okay so that my splits and the allowance will stay in place okay but before i use the hemming gum all right i am going to finish the bottom part of the dress first before i use the hemming gum so i'm going to be using the screen online i'm going to be providing a detailed tutorial on how to attach this to your dress so i'm just going to attach this and then i'll deal with my hemming gum so guys at this point i'm using my hemming gum to hold this in place so i kind of doubled my hemming gum okay so that the splits will remain stiff and then nicely laid out okay so you can hold it with your 
your pin or your thread and needle whichever way you think is okay you can do that so back to the stones okay so these are crystal stones that have holes in them okay so they are beads and they are stones at the same time so i'm just i just use my glue gun to secure this in place first before i'm going in with my thread and needle okay so that once it is washed all right um the adhesive will wear off but the thread will still hold it in place so that is my idea of gluing it before uh, using my thread and needle so this is how the side looks i've already draped my side off camera at, at this point guys i was so tired that sometimes the camera uh, stops recording and i don't even see because i was so focused on what i was doing but i'm going to be uploading a video on this and also i'm about to attach my flower as you can see i have webbed my thread around the flower the bottom part of the flower i got this flower in the market it was so beautiful that i couldn't resist i thought yeah this is the thing all right so she was the chief bridesmaid all right so chief bridesmaids needs to look beautiful guys so she didn't really expect the side design the stones and the flower but i thought i should attach it and guys she was so happy with the outcome it was it was so beautiful i would upload a short on how she was so happy with it later all right so um i'm just trying to fix my glue here so i've just uh, kind of created a web of thread around the bottom part of my flower when i say a web you know how spider web is it is kind of connected but not tightly packed together okay so i kind of webbed around the bottom part in some areas and the thread is still like hanging it's loose okay i'm only going to pull the thread which i am pulling right now only because i have attached my glue okay so that's my thread and i am going to continue with the parts that the glue really haven't got into so i'm just spreading my glue around and i'm going to stick it in place so guys like i said please subscribe to my channel don't forget to share turn on the bell notification and also um share this on your social media pages your whatsapp your facebook your instagram your youtube community and anywhere possible okay i am so thankful that you stayed with me throughout the video and also don't forget to leave your comments and if you have any video suggestion that you want me to make my instagram page is 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 just going to play at the end of this video my facebook page is there join my facebook group so with Ann. okay you can share your suggestions there things you like to make me make a tutorial on you can post the picture on the facebook group so that as time goes on i can do that for you guys so guys we are done they're all complicated but not so complicated dress guys it looks complicated but it's really simple to make and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give this video a like okay give it a thumbs up and this is how it looks guys i'm going to be uploading a short and pictures of it wearing my beautiful clients at that time okay so i'm going to be posting a video on that so like i said i wanted the extravagance around the side okay of the flare so i did not really taper it too much all right so thank you guys so much this is my client as you can see yes he's in the background yes so guys subscribe okay hit the like button and don't forget to share bye